Two people are standing near the river. Both of them want to get to the opposite side. But the boat can only hold one of them. And still, they manage to get across the river. How? They were on the opposite banks. During a fire, a bank was robbed. The security guard told the police that he wanted to save a bag of money, but he had to crouch to lace up his boot just in front of the emergency exit. At that moment, the door opened and hit him on the head. When he came to his senses, the money was missing. Why was the security guard arrested? All emergency doors open outwards. If it's raining at midnight, can you expect that in 72 hours it'll be sunny? No way! In 72 hours, it's going to be night again. Detective Adams came to the park to have lunch outside in the sun. But his attention was drawn by three men running around a fountain. Each of them was shouting, Thief! Catch the thief! The detective was confused. Who was the real thief? That's why he just kept watching. After some time, the distance between the men shortened. Detective Adams immediately realized who the real thief was. Can you figure it out too? If the third man was the thief, the second one would only have to turn around to catch him. The same goes for the second man, which means the man running the first is the criminal. Detective Martin was choosing a diamond ring for his fiance when a man in a black mask ran into the jewelry store. He made all the visitors lie on the floor and took the most expensive jewelry and money. After that, Detective Martin saw the man get on a red motorbike and speed away. The police officer jumped into his car and set off on a chase. At one point, he came to a crossroads. Where should he go now? Suddenly, Martin saw a car coming from the opposite direction. He asked the driver if he had seen the red bike. No, I've only seen a silver convertible and nothing else. Then, the detective saw a gray car appear from the left. The woman inside said she hadn't seen the red bike, but she'd seen a yellow bike and a group of cyclists. And the man who appeared from the right told Detective Martin he'd only noticed a large blue truck. Where is the robber? The motorbike can only be inside the blue truck. After several crimes had been committed in the city, the police decided to visit the main suspect. He lived in the countryside. When the officers entered the house, they found no one inside. They searched the entire place, including the attic, which was in a mess. Then they decided to wait for the house owner to come home. One of the police officers went to buy some water. When he came back, he told the rest of his colleagues there was no need to wait anymore. Why? The attic window was closed when the police first arrived, but now it's open. The criminal was hiding in the attic and escaped through the window. Mr. Wilson's company was having lots of financial problems. One day, the man called the police. He said someone had broken into his office. They stole my safe with all the money I had. The police officers who came to investigate asked the man why he was sure it was they. Well, my safe was too heavy for one person to carry it. The police instantly realized Mr. Wilson was lying. How? If the safe had been indeed so heavy, it would have left dents in the carpet. Scott, an infamous burglar, came home one evening. Just a day before, he had stolen some very expensive paintings from Mr. Smith's house. He was in the living room when he noticed several police officers approaching his home. Scott gave instructions to his wife and slipped out through the back door. When the officer knocked on the door, Scott's wife told him, My husband has been away for a week already. He's actually supposed to come home today. At this moment, Scott entered the house. He hugged his wife as if they hadn't seen each other for ages. But the police officers didn't believe them. Why?
Look at the dog. If its owner had been away for a week, the pooch would be jumping around, happy and excited. But the animal saw Scott just a couple of minutes ago and isn't showing too much enthusiasm. Detective Lee was called to a small family cafe. The owner told him her story. I went away to the kitchen for a couple of minutes, but when I came back, I saw that all the money from the cash desk had been stolen. At that time, there were only three visitors in the cafe. All of them were women. When the detective asked them who had taken the money, each of them exclaimed, It was her! The first woman added, The owner is my friend, how could I do this to her? The second woman said, I was looking out of the window, drinking my coffee. I didn't see anything. And the third woman claimed she would never steal anything. Who took the money? Detective Lee quickly figured out that the thief was the second woman. First of all, the two others pointed at her. Secondly, she claimed that the first woman had stolen the money. But if she really was looking out of the window, how could she know this? An art expert paid big money at an auction for a painting that didn't cost anything. He knew about this fact. He was also an honest man and didn't have any criminal intentions. Why did he buy this picture? Although the painting cost nothing, its frame was a beautiful and expensive piece of art. Mr. Raymond Lopez, a rich businessman, urgently needed his assistant. But the guy was on vacation in the countryside. It was Wednesday when Mr. Lopez sent him a letter asking the man to come to the city as soon as he could. Now it's already Sunday and no assistant in sight. Raymond decided to go and check on the guy. When he arrived, he found out that his assistant was okay and packing his stuff. Oh, Mr. Lopez, I received your letter just yesterday. I was going to leave in a half an hour, he exclaimed. You're fired. I don't need people I can't trust. You just wanted to have a longer vacation, that's all. Why did Mr. Lopez think so? The calendar on the assistant's table shows that it's Monday, November 4th. But there's no mail delivery on Sundays. The guy is lying. Look at this picture carefully and try to figure out who the guy's mom is. The woman on the right is definitely human. She can't breathe underwater. But the guy doesn't have any problems with that. He's smiling and looks relaxed. Plus, he has gills. That means the mermaid is his mother. The police suspected that Deborah took part in smuggling diamonds out and into the country. But they didn't have any proof. That's why Detective Taylor was following the woman, trying to find some evidence. One day, he noticed that Deborah entered a house. But when she left it, Taylor realized she didn't have any diamonds on her. She must have left them in the house. How did he understand? Deborah was wearing boots with removable heels. The diamonds were hidden there. A unique diamond was exhibited in a famous museum. It was guarded at all times, and only small groups of 10 people were allowed to enter the room. After one of such groups had left, an alarm went off. The guards ran into the room and found there a young man. They searched him. There were just several bills, a lighter, a bottle with soda, a camera, and a cell phone in his bag. The guards had to let the man go. But the next morning, it was announced that the diamond had been stolen. How did it happen? The man replaced the real diamond with a fake one and hid the real treasure in his bottle with soda. After the bank had been robbed, the police found the bag with the money in the park. It was lying among cacti. The police officers arrested three suspects. It didn't take long to figure out who the bank robber was. Do you know who it is? It's the man on the left. He's the only one with some scratches. They were left by the cacti. 
how can you put a whole apple into a glass bottle without cutting the fruit or breaking the glass? Put the bottle over an apple tree branch in the spring, then wait until an apple grows inside. A young lady has the same number of brothers and sisters, but each of her brothers has two times fewer brothers than sisters. How many sisters and brothers are there in the family? There are four girls and three guys in the family. Someone robbed a bank in a large city. A police detective went to visit the main suspect. I've been feeling unwell all this week, and I haven't left my apartment for three days. I didn't even need food. My fridge is full. You can make sure yourself, the suspect said, and indeed opened his fridge. But the detective realized the man was lying and arrested him. How did he figure it out? First of all, the bread on the table looks fresh. Plus, if the man had been staying inside for three days already, his fridge wouldn't be that full. 